Sure. Um, I am Gina Padawano Ralph. I am the chief of the science integration branch at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Jacksonville District. I am also the restoration coordination and verification or recover program manager. I've been with the Corps of Engineers since 2009, and I love my job. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And so um, I asked you today to answer some questions based on the challenges and benefits theme. And so um, with your work with the Army Corps, what do you like best about your job and what do you like least? So what I like best about my job is the diversity of the portfolio that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has. We have four primary business lines, um, which include coastal storm risk management, where we're building resiliency in our coastal communities with beach nourishment and other um, natural and nature-based uh, protective features. We have deep draft navigation, where we work to maintain um, navigation and commerce in all of our ports throughout the U.S. We also have a flood risk management program, which is inland flood risk management. And then um, my favorite is aquatic ecosystem restoration, where we are working to preserve and restore America's Everglades. So there is a lot of science needs across all of the business lines. And I love the fact that I get to integrate, meaning taking lessons learned from Everglades restoration and applying it to receive additional resiliency benefits within our coastal storm risk management areas. Um, what I like least is, you know, I, I like to see things done and I like to see them done quickly. So sometimes the pace that we move um, is a little um, slow for my liking, um, but in the end, we are providing a really high quality product with a lot of good science behind it. So I understand that the federal government has processes and I just wish they were a little faster. I can totally understand that. So what is the most rewarding aspect of your job? So the most rewarding aspect is affecting positive change in the ecosystem for um, wildlife and people. And we do that through aquatic ecosystem restoration and SERP in particular. Uh, so we work with our non-federal uh, sponsor, the South Florida Water Management District, to look at ways to provide the right quantity and quality of water to the right places at the right time in order to see benefits for fish and wildlife and the habitats on which they rely. Nice. So how do you balance time between your career and your family? So that one's tricky. Um, when I um, first started my career in the early 2000s, um, I actually started my career with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and then I took five years off to really raise my family. Um, I had uh, children during that time, and those um, are probably the most wonderful years. Um, and you can't you can't get those back when they're little and, and kids are developing. So I, I want everyone to understand that you can have a family, and you can have a successful career, and you can take time off to prioritize your family. Um, and so, you know, as they grew up, there's a lot of guilt involved um, with traveling, uh, but it's rewarding when my senior in high school selected me as her mentor, um, as a successful example of a woman in STEM. Um, and so it, it's tricky, you can do it, you can have both, you just need to uh, take time to prioritize um, your your family, but also to ensure that you're you're getting your work done. And if that meant, you know, me staying up late after the kids were in bed, then then so be it. Um, but I, I love what I do. I love my family and I wouldn't trade either. That's awesome. It's so good to hear that there can be such a nice balance between career and family. Yes. And so to just end, um, we wanted to ask all of the panelists the same question. So, reflecting on the different challenges and benefits that you have experienced working at the Army Corps, um, what is one piece of advice that you wish you had at the beginning of your career journey? 
So, one thing that I, I wish I knew was more about the actual process for working or getting a job with the Corps of Engineers. There's a very specific way to word your CV to um, look for jobs. Um, and so I wish I had a little bit more of a tutorial about how to work or how to secure a job with the federal government um, when I was younger. And if anybody wants to talk about that, uh, the core is hiring and we are happy to, to chat with you about the process. Well, that's super great to hear. I think that'll benefit a lot of people having you around to answer the questions and the core as well. So thank you so much for chatting with me today. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate your time.